Early one morning, Gordon's fire would not light. I don't know what's wrong, sighed the firelighter. There must be gremlins about. What are gremlins? asked Percy. I've heard that they're little green men who play tricks, replied Thomas. Can we find one? Ha! said James. Gremlins don't exist. They're just an excuse when things go wrong. If Firelighter says there are gremlins, there are. Ha! snorted James. Sir Topham Hatt had heard everything. Silence! he said. I am expecting a VIP, a very important person today. She has heard that all my engines are really useful. Please prove it. Yes, sir, they all said. As long as the gremlins let us. What gremlins? The ones in Gordon's fire, sir. That's why he's not ready yet. I'll see about that, thundered Sir Topham Hatt. And he did. Gordon, I expect you to be on your best behavior today. You were to pull the special coach for my special visitor. But no high speeds, please. She won't like that. Gordon was proud and pleased. He was waiting for his special coach when Percy puffed in with some freight cars. What's the matter, Gordon? You're late. Driver says there's gremlins in the turntable, replied Gordon. They must be everywhere, squeaked Percy. At last, the turntable was mended, and Gordon puffed away with the special coach. He was soon working hard to make up for lost time.